Hey friends, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I'm just gonna go ahead and say right now, you're going to hear stuff in the background because the washer's going, the dryer's going, life is going on. Remember when I said several times on this channel that my baby slept through the night? Stay humble. <laughs> no, uh, every once in a while he like gives me a little gift and does, but he's not sleeping through the night. But speaking of nights, him, him as in Everett, my son, and I are going away for the very first time, just us two for one night only. We are going to visit some friends of ours that we haven't seen in well over a year. Holy moly, that's a long time. That's crazy. Yeah, well over a year, and it's for one night. So, and I'm bringing the baby because he just can't be without me. I can't be without him. I just, I can't do it. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I am packing for one night away with my three month old one night. And I already know I'm going to get judged and I'm fine with that because I am absolutely, absolutely overpacking. I overpack on a good day for myself. I'm 1000% overpacking for my ch child, my baby, my ch child. Um, I made a list the other night I brain dumped and this is the list of things that I'm bringing. I'm not joking. So I'm gonna share some of those with you because for me it's really important. We are very routine people. He has a very good night routine and I'm going to try and mimic that while we are away for one night, the most, that the best that I can. I'm very well aware that babies are adaptable, but I am a prepper by nature. If you haven't seen my apocalypse basket tour, uh, go check out that video, but I'm a prepper by nature, so this is like what I was made for. So I'm gonna show you guys what I am bringing for him. I'm not gonna show you what I'm bringing for myself, but what I am just packing exclusively just for the three month old. Let's get into it. These are just the things that I have so far set out to go into his bag. This is the diaper bag that I'm using. Don't mind all the other folded laundry everywhere. Um, it's the diaper bag that I use all the time. I just emptied it out and I'm going to fill it with all of his things. I'm gonna start by bringing three bibs. This one's really cool because it has like a little teething thing on it and I'm pretty sure he's getting teeth. I'm, I'm not 1000% sure, but I'm bringing three bibs. One little beach or uh, what's it called? Swim hat, a bathing suit, and a swim diaper. He's too little to swim, but how cute is that? I'm bringing it anyways. He's probably not even gonna go anywhere near a body of water, but you know, why not? One, two, three, yeah, three onesies, and then one, two, three, three outfits three onesies and an extra pair of pants. Yes, we're going for one night, it, yeah. I'm also going to be bringing one, two, I think I only packed two. Nope, I packed more than that. One, two, and three sleepers. These are for his nighttime sleeping. These are just like footy pajamas. Three pairs of those. Oh, and one more extra outfit snuck up in there. So that is like all the clothes I'm bringing. And then on top of clothes, I am packing these Wendy's. I have a very fussy baby. He's in leap three right now and it's been a doozy. Every single time I say that he sleeps good, this is what happens to me. Any hooser, he's had the absolute hardest time with gas the last two days, especially today. So I'm bringing these just in case. They're the free to baby Wendy. I've only ever used it once and I used it today. And I would, nothing to write home about for me currently with these, but I am bringing them because he did let out a little fart and he ended up pooping eventually. So you never know. So I'm bringing these and I'm also bringing coconut oil for these. These are my tried and true Gas Drops, the Little Remedies brand. I order three packs off of Amazon. I give these to him depending on the day, several times a day, and you can give them up to 15 times a day, I believe, 12. You can do 12 times a day on these. So I am bringing gas drops because that's the situation we're in right now. I am also bringing a thermometer because you never know. I don't know, I just feel like it should be something that I bring. So this is also coming with us. I'm bringing him some little toys. These little wrist rattles are really fun and cute and he likes these a lot. Um, I got this itsy ritzy chew mitt for him. He hasn't quite figured this out yet, but I'm bringing it because you never know, he may figure it out tomorrow, you know what I mean? That's coming, and then this little um, ASMR. This little book. He's not in a toy phase yet of life, but just in case. I also 
Um, I'm picking up a Target order on my way out of town tomorrow. So in that order, I will have things as well for him, but I am packing a plethora of binkies. These are the Itsy Ritzy brand. I'll leave them linked down below. These are the only ones he likes and they're cute, but the only reason I use them is because he really likes them. So I will be bringing like eight of these binkies because you just never know. You just never know. And then also what is going in the bag, I have this like bassinet cover because I am bringing, because <laughs> I'm bringing his portable bassinet, which I will leave a picture of right here. I'll show you guys because the back of the car is going to be packed with stuff too. But this smells like home and it's just one of the terry cloth ones that goes over the bassinet cover. I'm bringing this just in case um, he spits up. I'm also bringing one of these like, mm, I don't know how you say it, the M muslin muslin blankets. And then also a fuzzy little blanket for him to have. These are just like to hold and snuggle with. Um, he does not sleep with blankets. I practice safe sleep. If you wanna look that up, you should look that up. I'm very freaky about sleep. I'm freaky about everything, to be honest. I've been having panic attacks all day because he's had gas, so that's where we're at in life. <laughs> I'm also going to bring, I'm gonna show you guys stuff here because there's things that I can't pack until tomorrow because we use them every night. I will also be packing his hatch sound machine. We will not be leaving without that. That is a crucial must have item. So this is all just the stuff going in the bag. And then I will be packing the hatch machine. Highly suggest a white noise machine. I'm going to make his sleep environment as close to home as possible. I will also be packing the outlet monitor. You guys know how I feel about that I cannot sleep without that so it will be coming and it works with Wi-Fi which works out perfectly so the outlet monitor will be coming with us and we will also be packing his pack and play his pack and play his portable bassinet his stroller his portable fan <laughs> I'm not joking this is one day there's no plans to go anywhere or do anything crazy this is just what I'm bringing Okay, that's fine. I'm totally fine. I will also be bringing ready-made formula. It's just easier for me. He is on Infamil Gentle Ease. So tomorrow on our way out of town, I'm picking up a Target order. And in that Target order, I have um, a 12-pack of Gentle Ease ready-made uh, bottle brush and um, my Dawn power wash soap I'm bringing that also with me so I can wash bottles because that's just a, like a huge part of my daily routine I'm obviously bringing bottles and what else I'm pretty sure that's it I am also bringing his boppy pillow I remembered that because I washed the cover of it that really is it now okay keep forgetting stuff I'm also packing his swaddles <laughs> both of them um, he's in the love to dream swaddle I just have to keep inserting stuff I'm bringing his swaddles Lauren Duh. So that's all the stuff that I am bringing for one night and one night only. Isn't that crazy? I feel like it's a little excessive, but I also feel like it's not enough. So if I've never traveled with a baby this young before, I don't think we did anything with Ella when she was this little. Yeah, we did. I just don't remember. It was like 10 years ago. Who knows? You know what I mean? I haven't packed for a baby in forever and it's really good practice because we are going to be doing lots of vacationing and stuff this summer with the kids. So I feel like I'm just getting my bearings. I'll kind of have an idea of what I need and don't need after this. But let me know, what do you pack when you take your baby places? Are you just like a fly by the seat of your pants kind of person and you're just like, babies adapt, just bring clothes and a boob and I'm fine. Or are you like me and you're like, sound machine, every possible form of sleeping apparatus, his heart rate monitor, at like everything. Things he doesn't even use, I'm bringing because you never know if he'll have to use them. Are you that person? Because that is me to a T. That is everything I'm bringing for one night, 24 hours away with a baby. But I just wanted to share this with you guys because I actually got a lot of comments on my video yesterday, or not video, a picture on Instagram. Ev had his very first beach day, it was so cute. It was so stinking cute. We had the best time. And I really didn't overpack for that, but somebody said make a beach bait or a baby beach bag essentials kind of thing. I would say the number one thing that I would like recommend anything for like traveling with a baby if they're still in a bassinet is a travel bassinet. It's like 30 bucks on Amazon. I'm gonna leave a link down below. It's so good. It's so good and he really loves it and it actually blocks out the wind. It's a lot of things and it's really great. Um, we are switching him to a crib soon so that is why I'm bringing the pack and play in case like he gets fidgety and decides he wants to sleep in a like, crib style bed. I don't know. I'm excessive so it just makes sense. But let me know what are your like baby vacation or baby night away like packing for a baby under the age of one. What are like the essentials that you bring? 
I'm interested to hear. Am I missing anything? And we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me and loving me and leaving me such kind and genuine and sweet comments and just being my village. And honestly, you guys give the best advice and a lot of the things that I have picked up on during this second round of parenthood have come from you guys. So truly, you know I love that word. I could not do this without you guys. You're my village. I hope this helps somebody. It's excessive. Again, I've said that word five times. It's fine. <laughs> Let me know down in the comment section below what you would bring and we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm gonna address the elephant in the room. It's not me, it's these nails. Who is she? You know what's funny? I'm gonna tell you a little story and it's five seconds, don't click off. I went to the nail salon today. I haven't gotten my nails done since February of 2020. No, January of 2020. I forgot how, I forgot how to act. And the whole time my fingers were like this because I was like all paranoid and weird. And the lady doing my nails had to tell me to literally relax my fingers and chill out way too many times to the point where I just started doing it because I was thinking so hard about not doing it. I love me. <laughs> so yeah, I got my nails done <laughs> and it's white and my toes are white too. I think it's fun. I feel pretty feminine. Makes up for my beard. All right, enough talking. See you guys in the next video. Bye.